Welcome. This week's parasha is Parashas Matois. I would like to share with you a very interesting targum, Yonas and Ben Azil. It says on the Posik over here that they killed the kings of Midian, Periklah Medal of Posik Ches. It says, Reis Bilam ben Baor Hargu Bacharev. Bilam ben Baor was killed by a sword. So there's a beautiful tag in Yodison ben Azil that is very important to share. He says over here, Yas Bilam ben Baor Kotla Besaifa. Bilam ben Baor was killed with a sword. When Bilam saw that Pinchas is chasing after him, Ovad Milsa the Kisman, he made some, he said some black magic. Bilam uporach ba'avishemaya, and he flew up into the sky. Not to worry, don't worry. We're also superheroes. When Yad, right away, Itka Pinchas Shmai Rabba Mikadisha, Pinchas mentioned God's holy name, Uporach Basra, and he flew up in the air after him, Vaachde Beresha, and he grabbed his head, Vaachse Shlav Saifa, and he took out his sword, Pinchas took out his sword, Uboy Lamiktala, and he was about to kill Bilam up there in the sky. Posach Puma Bemila Tachninen. Bilam started begging for his life. Vaomala Pinchos and he told Pinchos, In Tikayim Yasnafshi, if you will let me live, if you allow me to live, Rishtabnaloch, I swear to you, the Cholyoimen de Anokayim, every day that I will be alive, less I know Malatet Yasamachyoni. I promise you I will not curse the Jews. Unbelievable promise. The Amale. So Pinchas told Bilam, Halo anti lovener amor. You are a grandchild of Lovan Harami. As we know, Lovan, the father in law of Yaakov, who was a liar, he tricked Yaakov. He, when he said he's giving him the younger daughter, Rachel, he gave her the older daughter, Leah. And then he switched a hundred times the payments. So Lava Narami, Lava was a liar. And you are a grandson from Lava Narami. The boy is the Meshotzi as Yaakov Avinan. That you wanted to harm Yaakov, excuse me, our father. And he had to go down to Egypt again, the Mav de Zara. And in Bosa the Nafkim in Mitzrayim, and even after we left Egypt. Gereisa ben Amolek Rashia, he sent for us Amolek, that Amolek started uh, attacking the Jews. Since I see that you don't accept God's word, you sent your daughters to assimilate and to tempt, to tempt the Jewish people and because of that temptation and that this destruction Nefali began came and Esim Arben Alpha began came 24,000 Jews were killed because of that that you sent the daughters of Moyov to tempt the Jewish children therefore less Efshatil Kaimi Osnafshach I cannot allow you to be alive. Uminyad shol of saifa min takia, and he took out the sword from its holder, the katle, and he killed him. So it's an unbelievable story here. Here we have a fight that's going on, an argument that's going on up in heaven, up in the sky, in the atmosphere, in the clouds, and the whole discussion that he's having with him. But ultimately, he was killed Becherev with a sword. And that was his punishment. A 
trying to destroy the Jewish nation. 